We are now entering Highland Forest West, which is a slightly newer neighborhood than Highland Forest. Um, on the left, you will see that we have a Haygood home under construction. This is Joe's home, and um, it is a Woods Cove um, that we're building. And John and Barbara's beautiful Orton Creek is up here on the right. We just completed it a few weeks ago. Um, we need to add those photos to the website. I have not done so yet, but that house turned out really, really nice. There you can see it. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous, and I know that they're super excited uh, to have their home complete. And then we're gonna go to the right, and here we have an existing Hagen home, uh, Mike and Doris Connell's Cape Lookout, but we have exciting news. We have two brand new Hagen homes going into this area. We have a modified Harbor Town 3, canted three car garage, and then we have a custom home going in on the golf course. Uh, the custom home is large. It's probably one of the largest ones we've built in this neighborhood. It's going to be 4,500 square feet. So it's a nice, uh, very large house. So um, on the right will be the Harbor Town 3. And then as we turn around, you'll see Mike and Doris's Cape Lookout. And then next to them on the left, on that empty home site, is going to be that uh, new custom home that we're breaking ground on in probably about four months. We'll break ground on both of those at the same time. Um, and then we have quite a few homes under construction on this road. On home site 12, we have uh, the Curran's Custom House. It's absolutely beautiful. We get a ton of positive feedback on that house. It's the, the gray one that's canted that we're gonna see here in a second. Um, that is a custom design home also. It's around 4,000 square feet. Uh, absolutely beautiful. We did a uh, custom in-law suite for Larry uh, Marietta's son. So that's their home there. Love the Nutcrackers. It looks very beautiful. And then um, we're actually building on lot 10. We're building Vicky's Fort Fisher. And then next to that, we're building Scott and Dory's um, Shackleford Banks front load. And then next door, we have Mike and Liz's Harbor Town 3. Um, so we have quite a bit of a market share in this neighborhood. And then as we go into the next cul-de-sac, you'll see Peter and Cheryl's um, Harbor Town 2 next to uh, John and Cindy Wickman's custom home that is under construction that I'm super excited about. It is going to be absolutely gorgeous when it's finished. It is a mixture of an Orton Creek and a Harbor Town. Um, it's got a pavilion room. It has the uh, second floor balcony. It overlooks hole 18 and the Timberridge Estate section. So it's going to be a spectacular home. And then next door, you have Peter and Shell's beautiful Harbor Town 2. Um, it was really special being here for their closing day. Um, they built during COVID. And so the day they closed on the home was actually the first time they physically saw the house. And Cheryl uh, was so happy she broke down in tears. So it was really special to be there with them on that day. And then we have Ruth uh, and Bob Connell's uh, Shackleford Banks here on the right. And that's going to be next to Joe and Lisa's Woods Cove that we're building. It's under construction. So there you can see the Shackleford. And then next door, we have the Woods Cove that we're currently got under construction. And that concludes our tour of Highland Forest West.